Hey guys, this is Jarek the Arab Dragon from Red Dragon Airsoft. Got another accuracy test today. This one's of the HFC USP. I'll give you guys a good look at this gun because this thing is totally awesome looking. Thing looks great. Um, of course, when you get it, it will have the orange tip on there. It's an orange plug. It does pull right off, although Red Dragon Airsoft does not recommend that. It is illegal and can get you in trouble. So, all right. With that being said, let's get this accuracy, te accuracy test going on. First, we'll be on semi-automatic. Then we'll go full auto, since this is the semi and full auto version. All right, let's start this test. Alright guys, you're zoomed in a little bit more than halfway on the 50 foot test. First we're going to do semi-automatic, then we'll go to full auto. Let's see what this gun can do. Alright, let's go full auto now. And if you're seeing the table shaking or the camera shaking, it's because my hands are on the table which the camera is on. And this gun has a quite a bit of recoil. And it's out of ammo. So on full auto we hit it a few times. Uh, decently accurate. Not not terribly accurate on full auto. Semi-automatic it's pretty accurate. Full auto so far doesn't seem to be too accurate. Alright, let's see what it can do at 100 feet now. Alright, so now you're at the 100 foot test zoomed in little over halfway. Alright, so let's start at semi-automatic first, then let's go to the full auto. Alright, let's go to full auto now. Semi-automatic, I hit it quite a few times actually, and when it did miss it, this is only a 5 inch target, may I remind you, at 100 feet, 5 inch target, pretty hard to hit with a pistol, any gas blowback gun. So, well, that squirrel is a little courageous, there's one like a foot away from me at the moment, anyway. Uh, <laughs> Alright, full auto, let's see what this gun can do. You'll notice the uh, the spread will get a little bit bigger. Alright, and it's out of BBs. So we hit it a few times. Um, on semi-automatic, it's actually decently accurate. On full auto, the accuracy goes down a little bit. The spread gets a little bit bigger, but that's expected. So, pretty accurate gun, actually. My last test made it look very inaccurate. This one actually is, uh, shows it's pretty decently accurate. Alright, now not shooting at anything in particular, I'm just going to be firing it down range so you can see the accuracy a little bit more. Um, let's load this up. Alright, so first just playing some automatic uh, and watch the BBs. Like, when I turn it to fully automatic, you will see the spread get a lot bigger. So, first some automatic. Let me put you a little bit, like right over this gun here. Feels a little bit low on gas. Alright. Full auto now, let's see what it can do. And it's out of BBs. So, this gun is a very good gun, especially if you're firing it on full auto. The gas feels a little bit low, the rate of fire is normally much higher than this, but. That also must be because it is actually pretty cold outside. It's around 32 degrees, as you can see by the gas spewing out of this gun. 
that it's not exactly the warmest right now. Oh, man, propane smells good. Um, so anyway, this gun is actually pretty accurate. It's, it's a lot more accurate than I thought it was. It, it's, it proved me wrong. So, very good gun, especially if you want fully automatic. This gun is a very good way to go, um, especially if you don't have money to buy something like the KidVue M93R or if you wanted the Glock 18, more of a box is more of a box-looked gun until KWA was sued by Glock and now can no longer uh, make their Glock line. This is definitely a good way to go if you want to get a Glock, but you can't find a full-auto Glock because none is really made anymore except for AEPs and you want a gas blowback gun. So this is definitely a good alternative to that. So that is the accuracy test of the HFC USP.